Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Car Question. Matt is not riding alone this week, the Nissan Murano. I'm with... Jay Canna, owner of Modern Mississauga Magazine out in Ontario, uh, driving the brand new 2019 Nissan Murano. This is specifically the SL all-wheel drive. So there's a ton of cool features. There is the blind spot monitoring. There is a yes. rear passenger alert. So if you leave something behind, the car will say, don't forget you have something in the back seat. Standard Apple CarPlay. Uh, all-wheel drive as we mentioned what else do you like about the car let's do it quickly let's all do right. the pros and the cons because that's what we do now at car question Perfect. so let's start with the cons i don't feel in a 2019 vehicle when i'm in the murano it seems a little dated yeah i know but it's kind of in a mix of a premium vehicle and a non-premium so it's really in a strange segment it's like that middle child yeah right now for 2019 nissan has tweaked the front end a little bit so yeah. if you do a side by side you'll notice it's a little more sculpted you'll see a more pronounced v motion front grille the fog lights are in a different spot but Still it's looking front. good it looks good it's it does good. look good now from a glance you can still identify it as a nissan murano yeah but it's the small minor tweaks that nissan has done to refresh it for the 2019 model year exterior is great interior feels a little bit dated and i think that's the problem with the nissan product but it doesn't sound cheap it's a little like i said it's a little dated but it yeah. still has an upscale feel for nissan and then yeah. yes infinity is their luxury division but for what a nissan vehicle is specifically our 2019 murano yes it's a little dated but it still looks good feels good yeah and that's what i think the owners on nissan like and it's real smooth on the highway we had some major potholes jake oh. do you like the roads in Quebec no comment <laughs> <laughs> so it feels really smooth over that surface the v6 3.5 liter that's what I like by the way no replacement no or displacement no I know <laughs> and the CVT is even better than ever you know they Absolutely. had their miss a long time ago but now it feels responsive it's gonna give you great acceleration but fuel economy a little high so yeah. from the Montreal Airport to know, maybe an hour away uh, we hit about 15 liters per hundred kilometers so a little higher than I thought and yes we did some city driving getting out of the airport uh, and yes you know we pushed the engine a little bit just to see what, yeah. what it's capable acceleration, of. acceleration passes you know regular stuff right and you know we get the RPMs out again just you know not for being irresponsible just having an understanding yeah. of what the vehicle is capable of and yes you know we can both confidently say if you need to pass somebody or a truck or need to get out of a situation where you might have a collision no problems in doing that here yeah you and reliability with that engine is impressive over the time this is probably one of the most reliable v6 absolutely and it's been around forever and ever and ever and there's a reason for it right it's not quite a classic engine yet but Nissan's taking the stance of if it's not broken, why fix? No, keep it, keep it, keep it. And it's a low maintenance fee engine, so over the time, you won't spend a lot of dollars with that one. CVT is going to be reliable also. Mm -hmm. Well, for the rest, the price is kind of okay for a vehicle in that middle class segment. Right. If you look at the competition though, okay, I'm going to name them. So okay. you, Jay, give me what you think about them. We're going to start with the Mazda CX-9. I love it. I love it because it looks good, it drives very well, it doesn't have that zoom zoom like the Mazda 3 has. No, not the same driving feeling because it's kind of big. But for what it is and what it does, I'm very happy with the Mazda CX-9. Looks good, drives very well, great fuel yeah. economy and plenty of cargo space. And the Mazda CX-9 wins the interior design also when you oh, compare sure. it to the Murano. But a four turbo is not a V6. So from Never. a mechanical point of view, over the time, the Murano's got it. <laughs> Volkswagen Atlas, wow, this one's big, real big. I wouldn't even know if it's in the same class, but then, you know, the Touareg is too small to compare it to the Murano. Yeah, but current so, driver said it's in the same class also, so why not include it? <laughs> I like the Atlas. I think yeah. it is a new design. You know, it's not as edgy as Toyota, who's gone from, you know, vanilla to chocolate sprinkles, banana splits and everything. The, the design on Toyota's Don't now, forget the cherry also and, and the everything. Cherry yes. <laughs> um, I like the Atlas. I like the Murano more than the Atlas, despite it being an age design. Yeah. I just, it, for me, it's the seats. It's the zero gravity seats that Nissan yeah, puts in all their vehicles. That's a good point, Jade, that I forgot to mention. 
how you're comfortable doing a long road in those seats. You won't probably find the same level of comfort also no. in the Atlas. But I got to say the four motion of the Atlas is really hard to beat. The reaction, the yeah. precision that it's going to give. So yeah we'll split the vote okay we'll split the vote on okay. that one so we're gonna go next with the kia sorrento good standard equipment great standard equipment and kia just keeps getting better and better at producing high quality vehicles yep. at a very affordable price that's you know, right you could sell that kia for another ten thousand dollars even on the base level and i think people will keep buying it but still, the Nissan Murano is a great contender because it's affordable also. Yeah. So you might want to compare them before you go buy one or the other. Right. And I'm going to be truthful with you guys. I see a lot more older Nissan Murano on the roads than Kia Sorento. You're right. Okay, so right. the last contender. Whoa! <laughs> That was funny. You know, this always happens when you're doing something cool. Thank goodness for editing, right? <laughs> yeah, we like editing. Okay, guys, let's be serious. Let's talk about the Subaru Ascend, which is brand new this year. Subaru made a great comeback. You probably saw the video that we did. If not, press in the card. I like the adventure style. Mm -hmm. I like the all-wheel drive. And I think it's one of the most capable off-road vehicle that you can get in this class but also really well equipped base model but turbo engine over time 23 cup holders yeah i know i counted them you counted i found them. 23 cup holders and when it comes to all-wheel drive you cannot beat subaru jay when do you bring like 23 little bottles of juice like that um today I will go to the store, <laughs> I will find a Subaru Ascent. <laughs> Don't make false promises on car question, that's not good, Jay. <laughs> well, I will really like the Ascent, but it <clears throat> needs to grow over time. We need to see how is it going to be in a few years from now. Reliability issues, yeah, warranty things, things, you know, what's it like, and you know, are there going to be a lot of them on the road? Yeah. Because the, what Subaru says on their website is that over the past 10 years, 95% of Subaru sold are still, are still on there. the road. Yeah, and that's that's an amazing testament to the reliability. Um, the one drawback I see to that is if 95% of the cars over the past 10 years were still on the road, who's buying these new Subarus? Right. I Usually, know. you keep a car four or five years lease finance, and you roll over into something new. Children's, G. children's. I don't have. But they don't buy don't Subaru. Have... No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm going to give the point also to the Subaru Ascent for the towing capacity because you've got the transmission cooler, mm -hmm. you've got everything inside that vehicle equipped to do some trailering around, and I think that's going to be a great point for them. So absolutely, that pretty so, much uh, sums up the contenders. Yeah, Subaru to... Ascent gets the point for this one. Yes. But anyway, guys, if you got any comments, feel free to share that in the comment section down there right below. There. Do a thumbs up, and Jay, if you want to see what you're doing modernmississauga.com there you go take care guys thanks you